In the Amhara valleys of northern Ethiopia, living on less than a dollar a day, farmers work hard to support their families. Far too often, these people are seriously handicapped by trachoma, a bacterial eye infection that causes blindness. Trachoma specifically singles out people living the most difficult lives in poverty. It's people who are eking out an existence as subsistence farmers, who are living in uh, poor hygienic, poor sanitation conditions, who don't have regular access to medical service, who don't have um, good access to safe water. And it keeps people in that condition by blinding um, women and men in their most productive years is part of the cycle of poverty. Trachoma is transmitted easily from person to person by eye-seeking flies that breed in human feces and when contaminated household cloths are shared. Frequent infections cause eyelashes to turn inward, causing misery and eventual blindness, leaving victims helpless and dependent on others for care. Ethiopia is not the only country plagued by trachoma. It is the leading cause of preventable blindness worldwide. Seven million people blinded, some 84 million infected. And yet, the disease is both treatable and preventable, using inexpensive grassroots solutions. The Carter Center, with support from the Lions Club's International Foundation, and the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation has been a leader in the fight against trachoma in Africa since 1998. Ethiopia is one of six countries where the Carter Center promotes the World Health Organization's strategy to end the tragic cycle of trachoma infection. With the center's assistance, hundreds of rural health workers have been trained in the Amhara region to conduct as many as 40 eyelid surgeries per day free of charge during seasonal outreach campaigns. The trachoma control program distributes the antibiotic Zithromax, donated by the Pfizer company, to reduce the burden of infection. To curb the spread of trachoma, the program routinely promotes hand and face washing practices and environmental improvement in villages. Most importantly, the use of latrines. These simple structures make a big difference in people's lives. They fight trachoma and other diseases and improve sanitation by reducing the breeding ground for flies that spread infection. The program became so popular here that more than 345,000 latrines were built in only a few years. An unexpected benefit, the freedom latrines have given local women. Tradition always allowed men to relieve themselves in the open at any time. But women were required to wait until nighttime so no one would see them. Now women can enjoy the privacy of a latrine at any time of day. Latrines have become a symbol of women's rights and a coveted addition to households, creating a latrine revolution in Ethiopia. Thanks to these interventions, Ethiopia's Ministry of Health, with the assistance of the Carter Center, is fostering a new generation of Ethiopians who will never know the devastating effects of trachoma. <laughs>